Now we're going to add a new page to the website and as you can see on the home page way down here we see a new page link and if we add a new page from the home page it will actually be a top level menu item page up here which is what we want to do this time because the consumer wants to have a page for all of his videos. So I'm going to click new page. That's going to open up a dialog box and as you're about to see this is a paint by the numbers type system that keeps it very very simple for you to add new pages and change your content around. First thing we want to do, number one says, what's the page title? That's the same as your menu title. So we're going to call this videos. Um, position refers to menu position. I want the videos file to be before the services button. Now number three says continue. That opens up your dialog box here where you just type in your content. Now before you hit save, you need to do one last thing when adding a new top level menu page name to your uh, website. You want to click on this Pro tab and we want to make certain that it normally defaults to home because that's the page you started with. You want to make certain you pick Design 2. That's the sub page look and oftentimes our sites have multiple sub page looks so this basically will allow you to set this one time and then all sub pages off of this Design 2 sample will follow this particular look. Now that we're done here um, you simply hit Save then hit Close and there you're going to see that the uh, text has been added to the uh, site and the new page has been added. Thank you.